Hello everyone and welcome to Rasayan Academy. So guys, this is our second video on the series of 100 name reactions. So I have recently started a playlist of 100 name reactions on my channel Rasayan Academy. And guys, today we are going to talk about the Bergman cyclization also called the cyclo aromatization okay so this is a very very simple reaction and it has been asked very recently in the CSIR exam so what we are going to do in this video is first of all understand what is the Bergman cyclization do a previous year question on it and also do some very uh, important questions which might get asked in the future okay so yes let's start very quickly so this reaction is basically formation of benzene through radicals. So I can just simply put it like this. Formation of benzene through radicals. Let's see how is that happening. So the first thing that we are going to see is 1,4 benzene diyl di radical formation from ene diene via electrocyclization. So this is the whole sum up of this process. So what are we talking about? What is this ene diene? Right, what is this over here? So can you see that there is only one alkene over here? One ene and two ene. Right, what the ion is used for the triple bond, ene is used for the double bond. So we are having two triple bonds and one double bond. That is why it is called the ene diion system. And through cycloaromatization, cyclo uh, electrocyclization, it is going to give this kind of a radical. Now this is 1,4 benzene di radical simple. Right, it is 1,4 benzene di radical. Okay, and now this radical requires a proton donor so that it can take up a hydrogen and it can finally give us benzene. Now, we can have simple benzene or we can have a lot of benzene derivatives. Watch till the end, you are going to see a lot of examples. Okay, let's start with this. So, what is the mechanism over here? It's very simple. Right, so you are having this ene diion system just open up this bond and one radical, these are two carbons over here. Okay, so when the double bond opens up, one of the radical is going to go on this carbon, one is going to go in on this carbon. Similarly, over here we are having two carbons. So yes, we can open up the double bond like this. And now how many carbons are actually there? We start from here, one, two, three, four, five and six we are having six carbons so definitely we can actually write the molecule like this now since it has formed a single bond over here there would be a single bond over here right and one of the radical is going to come up like this okay so this is our 1,4 benzene diyl radical in the presence of heat or in the presence of light electrocyclization is going to give you the 1,4 benzene di radical very easy mechanism nothing huge about it let's now quickly move onwards to a question which was asked in the CSIR UGC net exam regarding the Bergman cyclization or cyclo aromatization okay so I want you all to stop the video right here and do this by yourself because it is exactly the same thing which is asked okay directly uh, from the book okay so the question is the structure of the intermediate A and the major product B formed in the following reaction are okay so now again very simple reaction okay I hope that you must have done it by yourself now we are just going to open up this bond from here and from here homolytic cleavage homolytic cleavage of this bond is going to give us this kind of a intermediate okay so there will be only double bond right only two bonds will be remaining the third has broken down and there would be the 1,4 di radical which is going to stay over here in the sp2 orbital and since there are going to be methyl groups so we are just going to write them as it is we are just going to write them as it is okay now what do we have now here this is a very very popular reagent in many radical reactions okay it is called our tributyl tin sometimes when hydrogen is taken it is called tributyl butyl tin hydride and over here since it's deuterium we are going to call it tributyl tin deuteride okay and how does it break in the presence of radicals 
this bond is going to undergo homolytic cleavage and guys we are going to talk about the uh, this reagent more when we are studying the Bart Barton radical cyclization deoxygenation and so on we will we'll talk about this over there right and now what we can do directly we are able to see we are getting radicals over here this bond is going to open up and we are it is going to supply deuterium radical so the deuterium radical is going to connect with this radical and finally the product will be something like this very easy question and this question was asked for directly four marks for four marks it was asked okay right so this it was asked in 2018 june for in section c for four marks okay so i hope that now you know it is bergman cyclization and you will be able to do more such questions okay let's move on to that but for this the answer is option number one very very easy okay let's now move on to this type of molecule let's say that this i have given you a complex molecule and let's say if you don't know the mechanism it would be very difficult but when you know it is very easy okay right so i have given you this uh, question over here and guys uh, right if i make some possible options you know i can just uh, i have this data okay it is going to give us a product okay the same data can be asked in the form of mcq questions also okay just by adding up uh, some uh, you know options so what can we do over here again we are going to open up this bond again we are going to open up this bond over here it's going to come on this carbon now this carbon is going to basically join okay so uh, directly let us write the benzene ring structure right but after that how many carbons are remaining that also you have to take care of let's count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so in the residual portion okay let's just write the di radical over here in the residual portion we are going to have eight membered ring something like this this is what you are going to have so this can be a potential question which gets asked in the CSIR and you are not going to be scared because you already know this and you will be able to do this right. So what do you have right now? Now this one, this molecule over here, it is none other than a proton donor. Why? Because if it is donating a proton, let's say, or let's say, let's just call it hydrogen radical, not a proton because it is not H plus, right? Okay, so let's do the homolytic cleavage of this hydrogen as well as this hydrogen. Why? Because we require two uh, hydrogen radicals over here. So let's give it two hydrogen radicals and make it complete benzene. Okay, and let's draw the residual portion. We are going to have eight member ring and the rest is going to be the same because the reaction is only concerned with the cyclo aromatization it is Bergman cyclization okay now what about this uh, species it has given two uh, hydrogens now what is going to happen with it so there is one radical over here a double bond a hydrogen and another radical what do you think is going to happen definitely it is going to convert into benzene itself how that how is that going to happen like this the double bond is going to break over two carbons and it is going to give us a benzene as well okay so this molecule over here again is a hydrogen donor and i hope that this example you are able to understand let's move on to another very good example of bergman cyclization which could be asked as a potential question this is a potential question for the upcoming CSIR net or gate exam okay so what do you have again again you are having you have a imidazole group which is connected okay so uh, you know in the place of the ene diene system usually we have the ene diene system given very uh, clearly but here you have the imidazole ring but do you see that you still have a double bond over here right so definitely in the presence of light in the presence of light definitely we can actually move the open up the bond homolytically and we can get our benzene formation okay the double bond is still going to be here no reaction for this bond benzene has formed and this is the di radical that we have to put on the one and four position now how many carbons are left one two three four 
5, 6 and 7. So you just have to make a 7 membered ring. Let's draw it. Alright, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 membered ring. This is your answer. Okay, so this easy is the Bergman cyclization and these are some of the questions. I, I took one of the previous year question and then I took some of the potential questions which can be asked in the CSIR examination. And let me also tell you guys that the Bergman cyclization itself is a very easy reaction. So it might be mixed up with some other reaction as well. That is how are you going to form the in diain system first of all. Okay, so let's say uh, in the future we might get questions like this that how are we forming the in diain system okay and after the formation of in diain we are getting our Bergman cyclization in the presence of light or heat okay so I hope that you understood what is Bergman cyclo aromatization we are getting a aromatic ring over here right so I uh, hope that this is clear to all now after this dye radical which is formed it is going to take up Alright, here it's just a tetrahydrofuran which is given. Okay, so the tetrahydrofuran can actually give its protons to two such molecules and it can itself become furan and it can donate its proton homolytic cleavage to this molecule and finally you know what is going to be the answer. I'm just writing it up. So... Yes, it does not matter if you are studying in BSc level or MSc level. This is the very, this is a very easy uh, name reaction and everyone will be able to remember it. Okay, right. This is your product. Seven member ring over here, right? And the uh, tetrahydrofuran gets converted to furan, right? Okay, so yes, this was it. I'm going to see you in another name reaction video very, very soon.